Hello guys, welcome to Saket Wahi SEO. I know it's been a while. Google's been launching too many updates this month and all my clients, whenever they see a drop or a dance, they're like, Saket, help me, my site is dropping rapidly. And I'm like, just chill out, mate. It's just another Google update. Today, I'm gonna be covering a very controversial topic with you guys. So it's basically regarding PBNs. People seem to have various thoughts and perceptions about PBNs which are false and for me as a PBN seller I just can't tolerate such ignorance so today I finally decided to make this video to clear all your doubts misconceptions and all the bullshit that people talk about PBNs let's get into it so the first myth PBNs will penalize my site oh that was pretty smooth I mean, this myth is utterly nonsensely not true. And PBNs don't penalize your site. I mean, backlinks don't penalize generally. And people think that just because you are making a spam network and trying to manipulate Google results, it'll lead in penalties. No, it's like, Different SEOs have different strategies and different approach to how they do SEO and how they manage PBNs. So any bad SEO or a PBN guy can get smashed by Google tomorrow. But people who know what they're doing just like me <laughs> won't get penalized or hit by any penalties because I know I've been doing this game for a long time. It's been three, four years I've been selling PBN links and we've got a full link building team who are building links for our clients on the daily basis and I don't see any penalties. I haven't even got on a client in like since the start who's be like, Sakit, your links provided me a penalty. So it's completely, completely not true. Second myth, PBNs will lose the power when they roll into the inner pages. That's completely not true. Guys, let me explain you. I know Google prefers homepage contextual backlinks and has got the massive authority. But what happens, guys, is when the PBN links are rolled into inner pages, you won't lose the rankings unless you're not doing continuous efforts for your link building campaigns. As you can see in the screenshot, we've done a lot of testing and this is one of the clients whose PBN links were rolling onto the inner pages and his rankings were improving massively. Why is that? The client was actively buying links every other week. The client didn't have any ranking drop even after the PBNs were rolled to the inner pages. This is because the client was consistent with his SEO strategies and Google reward websites, which ultimately focus on the long-term growth of the authority building. So guys, I have thousands of examples like this. There's so many websites that have got links from us and they all roll into inner pages and their rankings just skyrocket. So you shouldn't have this misconception. And if you're still not convinced, just reach out to me. I'm happy to share more examples like this with you. Myth number three, non-relevant PBNs or the domains that don't have the relevancy juice according to the niche being targeted won't move that needle. Again, it's not true. I have done various case studies. There was this time like I think around six months ago and there was a test we did for our roofing client and he had two websites. So on one side, we did a roofing network and on the other side, we did a non-niched roofing network. And surprisingly, the non-niche roofing network that was targeting to one of the client's roofing site did so well. And this comes to the point I was just explaining to you. Relevancy does not matter. It's just a matter of perception. I think it's more like SEOs making them feel good. Oh, I have a niche relevant PBN network and I only link to niche relevant PBN sites. And I don't know why they do it, you know, like. <laughs> so guys, just focus on the authority, focus on the best backlinks that comes from Forbes, New York Times, BBC. And these are the type of domains that are gonna give you very good ranking boost instead of focusing on the niche relevant PBNs, which won't even have any power. Myth number four. PBNs that have a higher spam score will hurt my rankings. Not at all true. Guys, the main and the most important thing I've learned in SEO is to never trust the third party metrics. It can be either Majestic or Moz or SEMrush. I mean, I use Ahrefs and it's quality to analyze the backlink profile. All the other tools are decent in their own ways. But what is spam score? It's nothing. 
I've got so many domains with high spam scores and they did wonders. And I was so amazed to see that high spam scores were having such a high ranking boost. And if a client comes to me and he's like, one of the sites has a spam score of 69 or 65 or 43, I'm like, just don't trust it because this PBN has been ranking so many websites and it's gonna do the same for you. So just trust the process. Myth number five, Google will find your PBN network. I mean, it's somewhat true. If you are a beginner in SEO and if you don't know what you're doing with the PBNs, he's gonna find you and he's gonna punish you very hard. Guys, if you're taking all the precautions and making PBN look like a real blog and having different A class, C class IPs, there's no way Google's gonna find. I have some PBNs which are five years old and Google's still like sending traffic to these domains and avoiding every link that goes on this PBN. So it's utterly bullshit. So guys, don't believe this myth as well. It's not gonna get you anywhere. For me making this video, I wanna make sure that you are ahead in SEO game and without PBNs, you can't do good SEO. You, you, you're just gonna quit in four or five months time when you're doing outreach links all the time and you're like, why I'm stuck on page three or four and I'm not moving that needle. I understand everything about PBNs, give it a go. Just trust the process guys and try PBNs once and for all from a reliable vendor. It does not have, even have to be me. It can be two, three other people I know like who are selling PBN links and they're getting very good results. So you're not behind the people who are already ranking on the first page with the PBNs. So wrapping up the video guys, thank you for watching. I know it's been a while. I'll try my best to regularly update for you guys. Also make sure that you share this video to all the PBN naysayers and make them get angry. Like why are you sharing me a PBN video? I'm so scared and I shouldn't be buying PBN links. No, I'm just kidding. Just, <laughs> just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.